Carmel. Hey, Pinky Dot. I didn't realize you both were here. Nay, no, nay. No. Nay, no, nay. No. Hey, I'm about to read Adora a story about a polo match that Prince Jasmine is in and some amazing sportsmanship. Do you care to join me? Nay, nay. There's horses in it too. Oh, of course, there's polo. Nay, 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 nay. All right, come on, Carmel and Pinky Dot. Let's go. Disney's Aladdin, the Princess Polo Games. Early one morning, Jasmine flew to Kamali Field. She had been chosen as a team captain in the Princess Polo Club. It was going to meet her team and the other captains. She really wanted to win the Princess Polo Club's golden trophy, just her, as her mother had many years earlier. Welcome, captains, the chairwoman of the cl club said when everyone arrived. Today, you will meet your teams. Train them well. At the end of the season, a final match will determine who wins the golden trophy. The chairwoman announced each team, the Super Sultans, the Majestic Monarchs, the awesome aces, and the Royal Raiders. Jasmine couldn't wait to meet her team, the Royal Raiders. Another team captain, Princess Farah, made fun of them, more like the Royal Afraiders, Farah said to Jasmine. Jasmine ignored her at first, but then she noticed Crystal wouldn't let go of her horse's neck, Amira's nose was in a book, and Zena was doing a handstand. Jasmine went to the chairwoman and said, there has to be some mistake. The chairwoman shook her head. Teams were chosen specifically for each captain's skills. You can do this, Princess Jasmine. When Jasmine returned home, she was not very happy. How did your first practice go, asked the Sultan that night? Not very well, Jasmine said. I'm never going to win that trophy. Just do your best, said her father encouragingly. Jasmine hoped her best would be good enough. The next day, Jasmine taught her team how to play polo. She showed them how to hit the ball into the goal and how to stop the other team by bumping their horses or hooking their mallets. The following day, Jasmine had an idea for practice. To help find their strength, she set up a series of games. Jasmine saw that once Zena realized her horse was as energetic as she was, they made a great team. They always got to the ball first. Crystal was so stubborn about staying on her horse that she could bump into other players to stop them from scoring. Amira was an amazing hitter. It should pretend she was a hero from one of her books. Jasmine used her teammates' strengths to win some games. Soon, they made it to the finals to play against Farrah's team, the Majestic Monarchs. Well, if it isn't the scaredy cat, the bookworm, and the jumping bean, said Farrah, get ready to lose. Jasmine huddled with her team moments before the first chucker, or game period. Farrah doesn't know that the very things she's teasing you for are the things that make you special. Now let's go out there and have fun. The game began. Zena beat Farrah to the ball. The Royal Raiders got the first possession. In the second chucker, Crystal stopped Farrah from scoring three times. Amira scored two goals all by herself in the third chucker. One of them was from all the way across the field. After the fourth chucker, the captains rallied their teams. You're doing a great job, exclaimed Jasmine. The score is tied. We can win this. But the majestic monarchs weren't excited. Farrah never passed the ball. In the last chucker, Farrah scored, and her team was up by one. Jasmine prepared to race down the field to score another goal. But then she saw the Majestic Monarch players and had an idea. She called a timeout to talk to her team. Jasmine wanted to give the other girls a chance to play and have fun. When the Royal Raiders returned to the field, Jasmine passed the ball straight to one of the Monarch players. Crystal and Amira blocked Farrah from intercepting a pass, and Zena cheered the Monarchs all the way down the field. And the last chucker, each Monarchs player scored a goal. The game was over. The Monarchs had won. Jasmine was glad that everyone on both teams had a chance to play and have fun. That was more important than winning. Congratulations to the Monarchs, said the chairwoman. The medals go to the winners, but the golden trophy belongs to the most honorable player. This year it goes to Princess Jasmine. You are a true leader, said the chairwoman, just like your mother. Jasmine guessed. You knew my mother? The chairwoman smiled. Your mother was my team captain. Jasmine, friends, and family all cheered. She'd won the trophy after all. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ears. Well, ears who? Ears, another knock, knock joke for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you.